In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to add a carousel onto your device mockups. So in this example, you can see when I click and drag, this is going through my images inside my design mockups. We also have another example here. So if I scroll the way down here, and by the way, I'm going to leave a link to this in the video description below so you can go ahead and check it out. Now, in this example, I'm going to use these dots. So you can see as I click on these dots, this is sliding through. And I also have another example I want to show you, which is a pretty much a browser. And in the final example here, we have some arrows which can also slide through our browser here. This is part three of our four part mini series. So be sure to check out all our previous videos and see how you can customize your device mockups. Hi, my name is Mac from the plus add-ons for Elementor team. Every week we produce WordPress tutorials. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to be a professional designer. Let's dive in and let me show you how to get started. So if you have plus add-ons for Elementor installed on your website, did you know that you can copy across domains and paste our designs onto your website. Let me show you how. So over here, this is the design we're going to be working on today. So if I mouse over it, you're going to notice that we're going to have a copy over here on the right. So if I click here and then go to my actual website. So now take a look at the domain here. This is the plus addons.com. So I'm going to go to a totally different domain, which is, which is YT Elemental. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our layout. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and I'm going to choose this layout here. And all I have to do since I've already copied it is to right click and then click on plus paste. In a moment, you're going to notice that our design is going to be copied over from our plus add-ons website onto our actual website. So this is pretty cool. So what we want to do now is to just take a look and see how this was uh, put together. So I'm going to click here on this pencil icon and notice that we are using the latest version of Elementor. So this is really compatible. So if you upgrade, you're not going to have any problems with our plus add-ons uh, plugin. Okay, so now that I've clicked here, you want to make sure that when you create your mockups, you are going to crop as close as you can to the actual device. Let me show you what I mean. So over here, we have our mockup and this is the uh, iPhone uh, mockup. So you can see when this was cropped, it was way too close to the edge. And this is exactly what we need. And this also needs to be a PNG because this white area here needs to be transparent. If it's not transparent, then we are, we are not going to be able to add our images on top of it. Okay, so back over here. Next, I'm going to choose the mobile device that I want. So I'm going to click on this drop down and I will need an iPhone uh, X black. And here we are. So we have our iPhone here. But what we need is a carousel design. So on the layout here, we need to change this from normal to carousel. So I'm gonna click on this drop down here and set this to special carousel. Now you're going to notice that this is going to change immediately. Don't really panic there. We're going to go in and show you how to really customize this to make it look awesome. So I can see here, this has changed to iPhone white. I just wanna go back in and choose iPhone black. Okay, great. The next step now is to add our images. So what I've done ahead of time is we prepared some images for you to practice with. And I have a link which I'll include in the video description below. This link will take you to this URL and you can always go ahead and download the resource. So what you want to do is when, once you've downloaded it, you want to crop this until you have the right sizes that you want. So once you have the sizes, you want to upload them onto your site. So I've already gone ahead and uploaded this to our media library. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and I'll show you where they are. So here they are. These are the three images. I'm just going to click and select all of them and then click on create new gallery. And then you also want to insert gallery. So now my images are added. And as you can see, everything has gone in perfectly. However, if you wanted to make some adjustments to this, you can go ahead and adjust this further. Now, let me show you how you can do that. So over here on style, you can see infinite here is enabled. If you don't want to uh, enable your carousel to be infinite, you can just disable it by clicking that. So now you're going to have a single image here. And when you scroll through, this will just go through the images, but I'm just going to keep it on infinite like that. Now, the next part here is the autoplay. So if you don't want your users to interact with uh, your carousel, you can just set it to autoplay and this is just going to slide through and you can also adjust your uh, autoplay speed over here. So you can see there, it just uh, sl uh, slid over. So this is another option that you can do. But what's really cool is you can also add your dots 
which is what we had in the uh, introduction of the video. So our dots can be enabled here. So I know you can't see them here, but they are right there and I'll show you how to go in and customize them. So if you wanna customize the dots, you can always come over here to carousel dots and I'm going to increase the size here and you can see as I'm increasing it, but now you can't see them. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this on the video, but I can see that they are right here. So if I click in, they are moving. But I'm going to fix this because this is an offset issue. I can just drag these down so now we can see them. So there we go. These are our dots. And as I mentioned, you can adjust the size here. You can make it big. But of course, you don't want to make it too big. Otherwise, that's not going to look great. So I'm going to go with uh, maybe 20. And as your visitors click on this, this is going to slide through the carousel. Now, as I'm looking at this, there's also some other aids or visual aids that we can use here. So this is the carousel dots. Let's go back. And this time I'm going to disable the dots and enable the arrows. Okay, so the arrows are right here. And again, I can interact with them like that. But we also have other options that we can play around with here to uh, really adjust this. So the offset is similar to what we did with the dots. This is going to go either up or it's gonna go down as I'm dragging this, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it somewhere in the middle there. We can also decide the icon size. So if I drag this, you can notice that my icon inside there is getting bigger and smaller. But if you want to adjust the size of the background as well, you can do that as well by just increasing it, but I'm going to leave it at about 40 and my icon at about 20. Okay, so what also you can do here is you can decide how you're going to have the gap between them. So if you want these to be further apart, you can do that or you can just drag them in until they're actually inside the actual device. So this could be an option that you want to go with and so your visitors can click it and this is how they're going to interact with it. Okay. So these are the dots. Now we are going to notice that our design here doesn't have the right proportions. In fact, uh, this is not really the right size. So what you wanna do to customize that is to come on device layout. So you can adjust uh, the width here. So I'm gonna leave it at about 80. Okay, so that's my device layout. So we can further customize this by coming over here to our image. So here I can play around with my image width and it's a bit distorted there but uh, this is where you would play around with your sizes. You can adjust the height. So you wanna make sure you're visually looking at this, making sure it's not distorted until you get your right dimensions. Now we also have our opposite option here. So you can really adjust this until you have it exactly where you want it. We also have our left offset here. So you can play around with that until you have everything right in place. So let me just uh, use these arrows. Okay, so these are extra options that we can play around with to make sure that our design is right in place. Okay, so that's the image, but there's also further controls here. So let's take a look at the carousel slide. So here is also where we can adjust for the items. So we can adjust the gap between our items here by coming over here. And you can see as I'm increasing it, I'm increasing the gap between my item. So I'm just going to bring this back to 10 like that. Now over here, we can also adjust our slide space. So at the moment it's set to 15. So notice what happens. So already I can see that my height here is not correct because it was a bit too long. So I think that is better. And we also have our mock-up offset. You can, uh, if you wanted to add some margins, you can always come over here to our carousel slide and add your margins here. So let's say it's going to be 10. You can see here I've added my 10 pixels, but if you don't need to, you know, at least the option is there. Head over to thepluss-addons.com. We have everything that you need to make your websites look professional. In our next video, we're going to be taking a look at the fourth part of our mini series. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.